What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Happy Tuesday. Another edition of the Morning Edge, Deb Press Picks. Special guest today, Ben at We Beat the Spread, is joining us. He has two picks for us, one coming on the ice, the other coming on the diamond. So, Ben, what are you looking at for today? Uh, we'll start with the MLB tonight. I'm loving the D-backs on the first five run line. Uh, you can actually catch a half a run tonight. They're the underdog. and I'm loving that line. Um, they're actually the most profitable first five run line team in the MLB right now. Uh, with the 30 games under their belt, they're 20 and 10 to the run line. And that includes 22 and eight covering the plus half run for 30% ROI. So they're actually the best team covering that line. They've had good starting pitching. They're behind their X world series. Uh, winner Madison Bumgarner tonight, who kind of looks like his old self. You know, he's an old guy, so he people thought he was falling off, but he's actually looked amazing. He has yet to give up more than one earned run in a start so far this year. And I mean, he's gone up against the Astros, the Padres, the Mets, and Cardinals. He went five innings in all of those starts, and he only gave up one earned run. So if we can get another outing similar to one of those, I would love the odds for the D-backs to get at least one run here to cover that half run line. And the D-backs right now, they're doing a lot better in May than they were in April. They're 6-2 and two right now, batting 237 compared to 187 in April, and they were below 500 in April. So they're looking a lot better. The bats are waking up. The Marlins bats are actually asleep right now. They've only been scoring like three runs or less over the last five games. Um, so their bats are not good right now. I really think the D-backs can get at least one or two runs here, and Mad Bum can lock down the Marlins. Uh, so that's my first play. For the NHL, I'm going to be going to the Wild Money Line. Yes, I am a Wild fan. <laughs> I've only bet on one Wild uh, game so far in this series, though, and it was game two when they won. I'm ready to back them again at home simply because they are at home. They were one of the most dominant teams at home this year. They were 31-8-2 at home. That's only behind the Avalanche and the Panthers. So they were right up there with two of the best teams in the NHL. Um, and the Blues have had several defensemen go out in this series, including Nick Letty, Tori Krug. Uh, Robert Bertuzzo and Marco Scandella. They have a lot of defensemen out. So I really think the Wild can, uh, you know, push the pace in this one, get past Bennington or maybe Husso will start again. Who knows? But uh, I, I really like them at home. Just simply that's it. And I think this line could go up a little bit. It's around minus 140 right now, but I've already seen a few books go up to minus 150. So uh, I would assume some sharp action is coming in, moving that line. So I'm going to get on here. All right, I love it. I'm going to go to the Diamond, guys. This is game two, the Detroit Tigers. They do play one game at 110 Eastern, so make sure you don't bet that one. Scheduled for 410 Eastern time. Uh, but I'm going to take the Tigers here. They're facing Adrian Martinez, making his MLB debut. Uh, Oakland offensively, they just don't offer a whole lot. I think the Tigers actually lose game one uh, to Frankie Montes and the A's, and then they bounce back here uh, in a nice spot there for game two. They've struggled a little bit. Uh, they've actually struggled a lot this year. They kind of came in this season with some expectations uh, of being a playoff team when they uh, added Javi Baez to the lineup, amongst some other guys in that lineup. So they were having high expectations for what the Tigers have had the last few years, but they have not answered the call yet. I think that they get this game too today. And then I'm going to go to the ice here. Uh, Carolina, they lost two in Boston, but they took care of business at home. This is going to be a really good series, guys. I think it could go seven, but Carolina knows – they lose this game tonight, and they go down 3-2 going back to Boston. That's going to be a tough mountain to climb. So I think that they know how crucial it is to hold surf tonight on home ice uh, and take care of business against this Boston team. We broke Carolina a whole lot this year. I mean, they were lights out during the regular season. I think that they get the win uh, tonight at home against Boston, uh, getting that line there at minus 140. But kind of like Ben said, depending on your book, I've already seen a jump to 145, 150. We're recording this again in the morning so these lines could move by the time you guys see this but i'd still take it uh, up there at minus 150 so those are our four best bets uh we would love if you guys threw a little parlay in and threw something together ben thank you so much again for hopping on uh we will be back with another episode on thursday take care guys see you guys good luck